Ahoy all you do-it-yourselfers! Today on the Stingy Sailor we have the complete beginner's guide to winch maintenance. What I have here is one of the Arco 6 winches I took off of my 1981 Catalina 22 sailboat. And what I'm going to do is show you how to break this winch down so that you can clean the parts, lubricate it, reassemble it, put it back on the boat. You only need a couple of tools for this job. First you need a sharp awl or a pen knife, something with a very small sharp tip, and a pair of snap ring pliers. These are the uh, external snap ring type so that when you squeeze them together they pry the ring open rather than closed for an internal type snap ring. Small tips, the large tips won't fit in this particular snap ring which is on the inside. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So let's get started and take this uh, apart. You may notice that I have a Barton Marine Wincher mounted on this winch. I'll have a blog post uh, review of those here very shortly, kind of like those. You turn a old style winch into something of a self-tailing winch. Makes using the winch a lot easier without having to spend big bucks on getting new self-tailing winches. All right, so the first, first step is to take this spring ring out of its groove in the top of the shaft. So we're going to use the awl for that. You probably can't see it in the video, but there's a small gap at the end of the spring ring where you can get the awl or the knife or sharp bladed screwdriver started in there. Pull the ring out of the groove slightly and also pry it up a little till it comes out of the groove and sits on the outside. You can see it now, hopefully. Now you can just grab it and simultaneously pull it out away from the groove and up at the same time and it will just kind of unthread by itself. And come right out. Make sure you don't pry on it too hard and spring it. Um, destroy the taper, temper on it rather. Should look just like that. Uh, when you take it off, set that aside and clean it up later. Now the drum can come off of the two-part hub. Just pull that apart. It's a chrome-plated brass, a bronze winch. Look on the inside here. Through some of the old dirty grease and look for any bad scoring or wear. The grooves on the inside where the pawls catch should have nice sharp edges, not worn down and rounded over. This looks pretty good. So we'll set it aside to clean up later. Next, let's get these screws out to clean those up. You may, just, you may notice they're kind of dirty. The previous owner had used silicone sealant to seal the winch down onto the combings. Didn't work very good. This uh, this winch in the boat has been setting uh, out of the water since last, let's see, since about last August, last September. And uh, it's now April. And when I pulled this winch off, the cavity was still full of water. Probably a couple, several tablespoons of water came gushing out when I pulled this off. So the silicone had not worked very well, had not sealed it. Water had become trapped rainwater, whatever, inside of there. That would have been sitting around the perforations through the combings where these screws go. Water sitting on your deck perforations for months. That's how you get a soft core and causes lots of damage and it's a real pain to repair. So don't use silicone sealant on a job like this or anything with very, very strong adhesive properties to it. Use something that's easy and pliable and non-hardening like butyl tape. And I'll show you some more about that in uh, later on in the next video. But we're going to continue to take this apart. Now if I just take and turn the top half of the base, you can notice that these spacers start to swing out all by themselves. Pull them out. There's two half circle spacers made out of a phenolic material. Those just come slide right out. Now we've got the base and its two parts held together by the snap ring on the inside. Now we're going to use the snap ring pliers. 
reach inside there, stick the tips inside the holes, one in each side, delay engage, pry gently, and the snap ring comes right out. Set that aside. Now the base can come apart. It's pretty gritty. These need cleaned up pretty good. All right, now all we have left are the pawls. These are not very free working. The pawls and the springs that operate the pawls. These are easy to take apart. You simply depress the pawl against the shaft and then pry it straight up out of this groove. It will come right out. The other side, again, depress the pawl a little bit and pry it up out of its groove. That's two. Top half is ready to go to clean up. Bottom, same thing. Pawls are going in the opposite direction. Same process though. Depress the pawl a little bit. Slides right up. Out. There you have it. It's all broke down in just a few minutes. We'll take all these parts over, clean them in solvent real good, air dry, and uh, we'll be ready to lubricate and reassemble and put it back on the boat. Okay, I'm back from cleaning up all of the parts to the winch and we're ready to put it back together now. We're going to need two things to put it back together and lubricate it. First, some type of a uh, marine winch grease. I'm going to use this Super Lube today. It's a Teflon based, clear, very light uh, kind of a grease. We're not dealing with really super heavy duty pressures here or anything special, but we do want the grease to stay in place and do a good job, be waterproof. Also, the snap ring pliers that we use to take it apart with. We're going to use those again to put it back together. So I clean these all in uh, solvent and then soapy water, clean them all up good, dried them. Um, it was a good thing the grease was getting really contaminated. There was a lot of dirt and grit in it. It's uh, been scoring some of the parts a little bit. Actually even some rust was forming around the springs and the pawls. So I ran those through my wire wheel on the grinder, got all the rust off and kind of polished those up a little bit so they should move a little bit easier. So let's get started. We're going to start with the base and put the pawls on it, two each on the base and in the hub. Make sure that you get the springs back onto the pawls in the correct orientation. These happen to have kind of a groove on the top and the bottom diagonal groove to kind of guide you. That's kind of your clue as that's where the spring rides. I'm just going to put a little film of this Teflon grease on all the surfaces of the pawls to help prevent future rusting. And then you just pinch the spring against the pawl to hold it closed and then slide it back into its slot. <clears throat> just like you took it out. Just like that. Those two. Now for the two in the hub itself. Just a little bit of grease. You don't need a whole lot here. It's not like we're packing wheel bearings on the trailer or anything. You don't want to get too much grease in there to prevent easy movement or to attract dirt, grit, sand, whatever might get onto the winch while you're out. All right. Slide back in. Here you go. All right. Now we're ready to put the hub into the base. I'm going to put a little bit of grease on the top here. This is where the spacers go. I'll also have some down on the inside where this shaft rides. And we also want to have a fair amount around the base here at the bottom. This is where a lot of the weight bearing from the hub 
rides on. So we got to get film on there. Okay. <clears throat> take the hub and we'll invert it. Stick it on top of the base. Now this is where the two half circle spacers come back together. Grease those up and they slide in between the hub and the base around the shaft. One there. One on the opposite side. Make sure they're seated all the way. Okay, now I can vert the winch. Set it upside down. There is this washer that goes into the bottom. Acts as a as a friction reduction and uh, holds the winch together. Spacer. I'm going to take the snap ring, put it onto the snap ring pliers, similar to how we took it off. Spread it slightly. Set it down inside on its groove. Make sure it's seated completely. There, did you hear it snap into place? There we go. It's back together. Now, all that remains is to put it back onto the boat, screw it down, the four screws. I cleaned these up as well, as you can kind of see. They were covered with silicone sealant. Now to put it back together, it's a little bit tricky, not too bad. I'm going to put a little bit more grease, just a touch on the inside of the drum here. All right, to put it back together, just insert it to the point where the paws begin to hit on the drum and you want to turn it so that it pushes the paws back and it should slot right together just like that sounds beautiful okay once we get it back onto the boat bolted down then we can place the trim ring back on the top and put the spring rack, spring ring back on to hold it all together. So that's it. That's how to tear the winch apart, lubricate it, clean it, put it back together, and put it back on the boat. It should give us years of good service. So thanks for watching. I hope that you uh, have good luck maintaining your winches, your sailboat, and that we'll see you again real soon on the stingysailor.com. For more information about this project, or to find more practical, affordable, or just plain cool do-it-yourself projects, visit StingySailor.com, the number one Google website for DIY sailboat restoration improvement without throwing your budget overboard.